Hi, this is Gregory from Code for Fun and we are on lesson 8 of our Python and Drones course. Today we're going to learn how drones can be used to detect bushfires. Bushfires is a huge problem here in Australia and therefore drones are used in order to patrol huge bush areas in order to detect bushfires, bushfire risks at the early stage. According to our lesson scenario, we will have a drone base somewhere here and uh, first we will program our drone to fly to the bushland and uh, patrol it, patrol a small area, small area of bushland, flying in this kind of pattern and return back to the base. Once students do this, which is a relatively simple task, then we're going to make this task much harder by increasing the size of land they need to patrol. And our students will need to perform, will need to come up with the algorithm so that the drone can cover that area in the most efficient way. Let's see how they do it. We will start by importing our Tello library. We are going to make our first function start underscore flight. We use def to define a new function. We use indentations to define what our function runs. Start flight will first run the takeoff command. Then it will go forward 80 centimeters and turn anti-clockwise 45 degrees. Then dedented, we will run the start command and call upon our start flight function. This should run all the commands in our function. Finally, we will land. Let's test our very first function. It's called start flight. The drone supposed to take off, flight forward and turn anti-clockwise to get ready. Drone takes off, flies forward 80 centimeters, turns anti-clockwise, lands. Beautiful. That's exactly what we wanted. Now that we know our first function works, let's add two more. One will patrol one section, one square, and the next function will take our drone to the next section. We will write our second function, patrol underscore section. This will move in a square, so we will repeat forward 80 centimeters and clockwise 90 degrees four times. Now we will write our third function, next underscore section. This will simply move forward double the length of a section, which is 160 centimeters. It will then turn 90 degrees. Finally, after we have called start flight, we will call patrol section and then next section. Let's test how this works. Drone takes off, flies forward, turns, supposed to patrol one section, and then fly to the next section and then land. Beautiful. Now that we tested our two next functions, patrol section and next section, we're going to put these two functions in a loop to make sure we patrol four sections. Let's try. To run the patrol code over four squares, we simply need to loop the patrol section and next section function calls four times. Make sure to indent the two. Drone takes off, flies forward, turns anti-clockwise, patrols the first section, That was the first section. Now it will fly all the way to the next section, turn anti-clockwise, and now it starts patrolling the next one. Beautiful. It repeats next section, 
again in a couple of seconds. Now that's section two done. Now next section. That's next section done. Another section. That's section number three. Now to the next section. As you can see, our drone uh, covered four squares and performed the program. Uh, of course, it's not 100% accurate and it may drift a little bit, but I think that's totally fine. Now let's try an extension task and code our drone to cover much bigger area, much bigger area with nine squares. That would be much more sophisticated and see if your students can actually do that. Students can discuss topics such as how would we prevent fire starting at home and are there some ways we can get a drone to help sense if there is a fire. This includes image recognition and weather sensors.